here's what the SSPX says on page uh, 39. The expression Paschal Mystery appears only a few times in the writings of the Church Fathers. In the ancient sacramentaries, it appears more frequently, but is used in the plural. In the Galatian sacramentary, it's used once in the singular, in the Collect of the Holy Week. Now, this is where I have a big problem. SFPX says this, until the 20th century, the expression had no special meaning in the writings of theologians. Yeah, I now, saw that too. Well, I mean, well, but they go on. Now, here's the, I'll, I'll give you a taste of what I, I mean it, I mean to say. The SSPX is correct because they go on to basically say that, hey, they're using this Paschal mystery concept to promote modernism. And that's the SSPX central point. And then they use it to dissect and destroy the liturgy, which is another important point. Those are correct points. But I don't like how they characterize, they sort of dismiss the whole Paschal mystery. They say, well, this is a total innovation. And I say, no, that, that's not at all a total innovation. I, you, could, you could make an argument that the phrase Paschal mystery, which is what they're kind of making an argument, they're making an argument that the phrase Paschal mystery isn't an innovation. Okay, fine. But the concept of the Paschal mystery is not at all an innovation. It's deeply, as I tried to show just now, it's totally in the Fathers, the Easter Church, Eastern Church, early church, early liturgies, East and West. It's all over the place. The Paschal mystery, it's the central Passover mystery of the apostolic preaching. So I find this very problematic in the sense that it doesn't distinguish between antiquarianism, which is what the modernists do. They, they cherry pick something from the ancient church and they use it to promote modernism. That's antiquarianism. That's wrong. That's what they're fighting against. That's a correct. I, I love that. That's great. Thank you, SSPX. But then they don't distinguish between that and resourcement, which is actually, hey, we've kind of forgotten this in the West. Let's restore this concept because we've absolutized this aspect a little bit too much. Just Let's just enrich our theology, enrich our spirituality with this ancient thing. So I don't like that there's no this, there's not this distinction here.